In this chapter, we are studying the lymphatic and immune systems. As always, the objectives are in the module. There are three main functions of the lymph system, to absorb fat and fat-soluble vitamins in the small intestine, to remove waste from tissue and to coordinate with the immune system to fight infection, and to return the filtered lymph to the veins at the bottom of the neck. How does it accomplish these functions? Within the lymph systems, there are special structures called lacteals that transform the fats from our diet so we can absorb it. The lymph vessels then return the fats to the venous system. Interstitial fluid is the fluid between the cells or within the tissues. This fluid delivers the substances the cells need to function. Lymph is a clear fluid that has electrolytes and proteins that work with the immune system to fight infection. The lymphatic circulation is different from blood in that it is not pumped through the body. This circulation is propelled through the musculature of the body and flows only in one direction. The lymph is filtered by the lymph nodes. The lymphatic system is made up of lymphatic capillaries, lymphatic vessels, and ducts and lymph nodes. The capillaries are one cell in width and are near the surface of the body. They move the lymph upward and forward. The fluid flows from the capillaries to the vessels that become larger as they get closer to the subclavian vein. Where is that, you say? AN is pertaining to, clavi is clavicle, and sub is below. So pertaining to below the clavicle. Valves prevent the fluid from flowing backwards, just like in the blood system. Lymph nodes hold the lymphocytes that help to fight infection. There are a lot of nodes where their large lymph vessels are. Lymphocytes are white blood cells formed in the bone marrow. Types of leukocytes are natural killer cells, B and T cells. Cytokines are proteins that signal an immune response. The types of cytokines are interferons that start the immune response against cancers or infection, or interleukins that tell B and T cells what to do. Antigens are foreign substances that are attacked by natural killer cells, B and T cells. Other structures of the immune system are your tonsils. There are three that form a protective ring around the opening to the respiratory system. There are the adenoids or the naso, nose, pharyngi, pharynx, al, pertaining to, nasopharyngeal, tonsils. Where is that at? The palatine tonsils on the right and left of the throat that the doctors look at when you open your mouth and say, ah. And there are the lingual tonsils located at the back of the tongue. The thymus gland is lymph tissue located above the heart that secretes a hormone that allows the lymphocytes to become T cells. The appendix is thought to be part of the immune system. A major organ of the lymph system is the spleen, located in the left upper quadrant. It filters foreign organisms and materials out of the blood and forms two types of leukocytes, the lymphocytes and the monocytes. It also gets rid of old red blood cells and stores an extra supply. Which structure secretes hormones that function in the lymph system? The thymus gland. The main purpose of the immune system is to protect the body. It does this by stopping entry into the body using chemical signals to alert and attack cells and the ability to remember cells that they have seen before. 
The first line of defense for the body is the skin. That is an actual barrier for potential infection. The respiratory system catches the foreign material in mucus and expels it via sneezing or coughing. The digestive system uses acids and enzymes to kill bacteria and viruses. The lymphatic system works with them all by using leukocytes or white blood cells to fight the foreign material. Antigens are markers on foreign matter. The body produces antibodies, a protein, in response to seeing this foreign matter in order to get rid of it. The antibodies bind to the antigens to neutralize the foreign matter and to let the macrophages know, hey, this stuff is no good. Sometimes your body can become unresponsive to the presence of some types of antigens. Immunoglobulins are the proteins that bind with the antigens during the antigen antibody response. Here is a list of the different types. Phagocytes, which are specialized white blood cells, are leukocytes that perform phagocytosis that eat the foreign substances. There are several types like macrophages, monocytes, and mast cells. The complement system is made up of a group of proteins that are circulating in the blood and combined with antibodies to remove bacteria and other foreign cells. What is a pathogen? A disease producing microorganism. There are several types of immunity. Natural immunity is passive immunity. It's what you're born with, the immunity you get from your mother that is enhanced when the baby is breastfed. Acquired immunity is the immunity you get by getting the disease or by getting vaccinated, which produces an immune reaction in the body without actually getting the disease. What kind of immunity does a vaccination give you? Acquired because you acquire it through a vaccination. Here are some medical specialists involved in the lymphatic and immune systems. Who specializes in the diagnosis and treatment of diseases caused by pathogens? An infectious disease specialist specializes in infections, right? Immuno means protect. Immuno means immune. Diseases associated with the lymphatic system are lymph adenitis, itis meaning inf inflammation, and what happens when things are inflamed? They get swollen. So swelling of the lymph glands. Lymph adenopathy is disease of the nodes. Lymph angioma is a benign tumor of the lymph system. Splenomegaly is not rupture of the spleen. Why? Megaly is enlargement and spleno is the spleen, so enlargement of the spleen. It may lead to rupture, but it does not mean rupture. So see, sometimes books can be wrong too. Edema is swelling, so lymphedema is swelling of the lymph nodes. A disorder of the immune system is an allergic reaction, which is the body's overreaction to a specific antigen or trigger. The reaction can be local, like rash or hives, or it can be systemic, like anaphylactic shock. Testing used to diagnose what those triggers are is a scratch test or antigen blood testing. Antihistamines are used to prevent or blunt the reaction. Another type of immune disorder is an autoimmune disorder where the body sees its own tissue as foreign. Examples are rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease, and Graves' disease, and the others listed here.
HIV is a virus that kills T cells, leaving the patient prone to infection that is life-threatening. Some of the infections are AIDS, which is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, and Kaposi sarcoma. ELISA is the type of lab test that is used to detect HIV. Treatments include immunotherapy that stimulates or suppresses the body's immune system. Antibody treatment uses immunoglobulins or interferon or monoclonal antibodies to help with the immune response. HIV treatment includes antiretroviral therapy to stop the virus from replicating or pre-exposure or post-exposure treatment to prevent infection. Immunosuppression prevents the immune response like steroids. And cytotoxic drugs are just like they sound. Cyto is cell and toxic is, well, toxic. What is an autoimmune disease of the digestive system? Crohn's disease can affect anywhere in the small or large intestines. One celled organism is called a bacteria. Here are some examples. Other organisms that can cause disease or pathogens are antibiotic resistant bacteria like MRSA or fungus like a yeast infection. Pathogens can also be parasites like Giardia for you hardcore hikers. And if you haven't figured out that viruses can cause disease, where have you been for the past three years? Here are some more common viruses. We can use specific types of medications to treat infection like antibiotics, antifungals, and antivirals just like the name implies. Which one is a herpes virus? Roseola. Which one is spelled correctly? Immunologist. Here's the list of common abbreviations. The abbreviation for antibody is A, B, of course, nothing else in that list makes sense. Which one means spherical bacteria? Well, cocci means spherical bacteria, so staphylococci.